what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you lot are doing well and welcome back to the channel and to today's video, which is a Chelsea news video where I will be updating you on a few things. The first one being, and rather interestingly, Chelsea have been linked to a left back who I wasn't really aware of, but actually looks very, very good and could be the ideal option for Chelsea's left back defensive and indeed offensive issue. We'll get into his numbers, but... Robin Gensens looks very good. Victor Moses has become the latest member of the Premier League Old Boys Club, playing for Antonio Conte's Inter. Quick shout out to that. And is Nick Pope really the answer for Chelsea's goalkeeping woes? Heavy links there again. But before we get into today's content, I want to request that you do subscribe to this YouTube channel if you've not yet done so. Please sub, hit the bell icon. Why not like the video to help me out? Right, let's get into this content. Right, before we get into juicy left back statistics and possibilities for Chelsea moving forwards, let's talk about Victor Moses quickly. It makes me laugh because Antonio Conte genuinely is, I'll say get the band back together, but he's just signing like Lukaku, Sanchez, Young, uh, maybe Giroud, Victor Moses, the list goes on. It's pretty funny. He's getting proper like old school B-Tech reinforcements for his inter side to try and reinforce his chances of winning the Scudetto. And to be honest, out of most of these signings, obviously people like Lukaku has been great for him, but out of most of these signings, Victor Moses kind of makes the most sense. He's been playing at Fenerbahce and this loan to Inter also has the option to buy, but it kind of suits him because he's got a relationship with Conte, he'll be able to talk to him, he knows exactly what's he, what he wants out of a right wing back, and really Conte will probably feel safe with Moses as a backup, or maybe even challenging for the first team at times. Shout out to Victor Moses because he's one of those players that just never got near the Chelsea first team, was always away on loan and, you know, was a right winger originally. Conte brought him back, looked at him in pre-season and was like, wow, you know what, I can do something here. Just turn them into a wicked right wing back. And remember that season when Chelsea won the title and indeed the next season when Chelsea won the FA Cup, Moses was a revelation at right back, right wing back. He scored a bunch of goals and if you remember when Chelsea played with Moses, he was always, I mean this was Conte's tactics, but he was always available in absolutely acres of space by himself to receive the ball on like the byline almost and he was always an outlet. No one ever worked Chelsea out with Moses, he just always received the ball with no one around him. Like every, every game, every weekend, five or ten times a game. It was ridiculous. So anyway, thanks for hanging out at Chelsea Moses. Cheers for the Premier League title. Have fun with Conte. Right, so before we get into the left back Robin that Chelsea have been linked with from Atalanta, and by the way, I feel like I should have known more about this guy because Atalanta have been excellent. Uh, they've been a good story this season in European football, so I feel like I should have known more of the players. But this is interesting and it sounds like it could be a really cheap, excellent option, especially if you're talking about 80 million pound Chilwell who's dropped form of late. But before we get into that, let's quickly shout out the goalkeeper situation because we all know Kepa Ruiz the Balaga is under the microscope and although a lot of stuff isn't his fault, I've done a video on this. If you haven't seen it, I'd urge you to go back and watch it. I've seen Kepa do a load of good things. I've seen him do a load of bad things, but I can understand maybe why fans and indeed maybe the Chelsea manager are short of patience with the young Spaniard. Kepa might become the world's best goalkeeper in three or four years, who knows. He might play till he's 38 and he might just be excellent because he keeps his body in such good shape and he's got a good mentality. But the Premier League is a results game and when he's dishing out those negative metrics and he's rock bottom for loads of the stats, generally, let's be honest, that's not good enough for Chelsea Football Club. So Chelsea probably feel like they've been burned a little bit with a 72, I think it was 72 million pound fee for this guy. Sure, they did well last season and he was integral in the Europa League win, but still that is a lot of money. So when they go potentially, if they do go to buy a new goalkeeper, they will not be spending 72 million pounds. And uh, the latest name to be linked to Chelsea Football Club, Nick Pope. So the rags this morning are all saying Nick Pope's at the top of Chelsea's list. Now it's interesting because, <laughs> two reasons right, because inherently I've looked at Nick Pope, some of the performances he's put in and I thought wow this guy's amazing. In fact I think wow this guy should probably be England's number one and this isn't just this season, this is last season. This is also when um, he was playing with Tom Heaton who looked very very good as well. Um, was it Heaton got, went out injured for ages and Pope had to come in as the number two two or three years ago and was better. 
he looked amazing. And at the point where, you know, you've got Jordan Pickford flapping all the time, just people, a lot of people are saying, Pope should be England's number one. Theoretically, if he moved to Chelsea and played at that level of football, he would almost inherently become England's number one, in my opinion. But it's still problematic, isn't it? Because he's still right down the bottom with Kepa and a lot of these goalkeeper metrics. I don't know if he's the answer. Sure, it'll be a lot cheaper. Like, how much will Nick Pope cost Chelsea? 30 million? Tops? Tops? Sean Dyche will probably back himself to bring someone else in who can do a job and make a bit of money. Who knows, maybe buy another goal scorer with the earnings they made from Nick Pope. Now, just because I'm talking about this theoretical situation doesn't mean I'm saying absolutely get Kepper out and bring in a goalkeeper like Nick Pope. There might be a much better, <laughs> firstly, we might not have to sell Kepper. He might come good, new goalkeeping coaches at Chelsea might settle him down and he can start demonstrating his talent again which he has got but you know maybe Chelsea do replace him maybe it's Nick Pope from the Premier League who knows maybe it's a gem from Europe I'm just all I'm doing here is telling you guys the news stories bringing it together and giving my opinion and sticking on my opinion and the news stories let's talk about Robin Gosens Robin Gosens current team Atalanta left back could also play left midfield 25 years old, ripe age for purchase, decent amount of experience to join what is an inexperienced Chelsea side in many ways. Germany International, 183 centimetres tall. <coughs> Jesus. Sorry about that. Who scored? Give him a very high rating, but this is where things start to look really promising. In Syria, which is a very competitive European league, Robin has six goals and four assists. So that's 10 league goal involvements in 16 appearances. 10 league goal involvements in 16 appearances for a left back is superb. And let me give you some context to that. So Andy Robertson, people say the best left back in the Premier League. He may well be. He's got 22 appearances this season, a lot more. And he only has seven goal involvements. He has six assists and one goal. So in six more appearances, he has, what, four less goal involvements? Okay, three less, I've got poor maths. But the, I'm saying, in terms of an attacking, uh, attacking left back contributing offensively down the left hand flank, superb. We all know Frank Lampard wants to get a lot out of his fullbacks in terms of attack, attacking passages of play. Look how effective Reese James is for Chelsea when he's firing and not injured. Frank Lampard will want that on the left hand side. Sure it's all good and well playing Espelicueta down that side for a little bit more defensive solidity, but he will want a left back. And the great thing about um, Robin Gosens is he's not going to cost the Ben Chilwell 80 million pound fee. He'll probably cost a little bit more like 20 million pounds. So how about that? 25 years old, experienced, used to scoring, used to assisting, used to playing in a competitive league and might literally be a quarter of the asking price of a Ben Chilwell who's actually probably out of form. Seems pretty good to me. This story broke in the media yesterday and I was like, hmm, who's this guy? Chelsea do really need a left back. Hopefully he's not that expensive. Oh, he's not that expensive. He's actually very cheap. He's probably not very good. Oh, he's playing quite in a competitive team, in a competitive league, and he looks very good. Yes, please. So we'll have to watch this space, but in terms of a left back, that's a very exciting option in my opinion, and that's someone that I'd probably really like Chelsea to go for. So yeah, that's the sort of defense for the moment. Obviously, Chelsea is still in this transfer window going all out pretty darn hard in for a centre forward, a striker. It does look now like Cavani is going to be set to join Atletico Madrid, maybe even in this January. So Chelsea really, as it stands, or certainly as the media and we as fans know, have to go all in for the Lyon centre forward, Moussa Dembele, unless they have a secret trick up their sleeve that we're yet to learn about that they are negotiating behind the scenes. Anyway, what do you guys think? I wanna hear your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section. Get down there, let me know what you think of Victor Moses, Cavani, um, the left back situation. Do you think this Atalanta left back is a superb option? And how do you think things are gonna go? Will Chelsea secure a striker in the dying embers of this transfer window? Let me know, get down in the comment section below. If you've enjoyed the content today guys, why not like the video please? And if you are indeed new to football therapy, feel free to subscribe and uh, hit the bell notifications icon as well so you can get updated when I do videos every single day giving you guys updates on Chelsea Football Club news. Feel free to follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. That is at 
football. Yannick, that is it from me, guys. You lot enjoy the football, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chalk. In my life, seen trouble, hustle on the double, silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry I don't. I love me, baby.